Aviation needs to train a lot of new pilots, and it needs to find a less expensive way of doing that. Here at the Paris Air Show, we're spending time with a French company called Alexia to find out about their new aircraft and what that might mean. Alexia's two-seat training aircraft is proving popular with flight schools, such as France's ENAC, which has ordered 30 during the recent Paris Air Show. The manufacturer, which is based at La Rochelle on France's west coast, says that its fourth-generation technology has resulted in a Part 23 aircraft that is safer, greener and more versatile. It claims the Elixir model, which features a glass cockpit, delivers lower maintenance and operating costs that equate to around 50 euros per flight hour. Our main business is um, training uh, commercial pilots. There is a huge need at the moment because of the pilot shortage. Uh, if you talk to the airlines, this is a major issue uh, at the moment. There is uh, like the numbers between 500 to 600,000 pilots looking for a job in the next 20 years. So one of the reasons why we are missing some pilots is because of the training aircraft. And uh, because they are old, getting obsolete, expensive to operate. So we need to, to make a move. And uh, as an operator, the ENAC uh, is looking now for a new solution to reduce the operating cost and their environmental impact. And for the first time, we are going the same direction because reducing fuel consumption, like moving from the 38 liters per hour of standard training aircraft to only 12 liters an hour, that's a game changer for operating cost, but as well for CO2 emission. We are reducing CO2 emission close to 70%. So this is what they were looking for. Less cost, less CO2 emission, less noise, and the loop is running again. In a bid to make light aircraft more durable and easier to maintain, the Elixir team introduced carbon fiber manufacturing techniques that had previously been used for high-performance sailing boats that race around the world. This so-called one-shot technology involves using a single piece of carbon fiber for each major structure, like the wing, and so eliminates the need for glue and fasteners and reduces cracks, corrosion and decay. So we uh, ended up with an aircraft that uh, is only made of nine parts for the entire airframe uh, from the tens of thousands of pieces you can imagine with rivets and screws. So uh, this is a big deal because in operating costs, this is a game changer for safety as well because there are less failure, because less parts. It's like a puzzle, less parts, it's uh, easier to maintain. Now Elixir is targeting the North American general aviation market. It's now seeking certification with the FAA, which it would like to complete this year. It's a major market at the moment for us, and we are finishing certification at the moment. Uh, cross fingers that uh, it's going to come soon. Uh, we are every year at EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh, which is a wonderful place to, to talk to everybody. But so yes, we are expanding. We already have facilities in Florida, in Sarasota, uh, where we will reassemble the aircraft ship from France and expand that business the bigger it goes so that we can uh, do final assemblies there and maybe more in the end. So this is a, a major step for us to move uh, across the Atlantic. Well, looking further ahead, the Elixir team wants to do even more to reduce the carbon footprint of its light aircraft. This could mean using new, lower emission fuels for turbine-powered versions of the aircraft. So uh, if you go to the French uh, DGAC over there, we have uh, the prototype of our turbine version, which is going to burn SAF and sustainable aviation fuel, and in the future, hopefully, hydrogen. This is a big R&D program that we have been running with Safran, Daer, Air Liquid, uh, Turbotex, the turbine manufacturer. But yes, it means that today we are reducing by 70% CO2 emission. With the SAF, I believe we can reduce it by 80 to 90%, and if hydrogen is coming, uh, maybe more. So uh, it's a three-step uh, that we are working on at the moment. Well, if you want to stay on top of all the latest developments in general aviation, AINonline.com is the place you'll find fresh news dropping day in, day out. All that, plus more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.